Regular attribute system in WooCommerce is really easy. Go to Products, Attributes and type New Attribute Name. Then, click on Configure Link and start adding all possible values. When you create product, you can add two types of attributes. First is Custom Attribute or Local Attribute. This attribute will be visible only on product page. Second type is Global Attribute. It's attribute which you added in previous step and you can choose possible values on product page. Global attributes can be used for filters, comparisons and archives. Local attributes are just simple text on product page and are not visible on other pages of site. All global attributes in WooCommerce have only select type and they are visible on site as simple text. But, if you use Rehub theme, you can add additional types like text tag, images or color tags. We call these types product swatches, because these extended types can be used also in variable products, in specifications, filters, attribute sections and in product comparison charts. So, if you want to add product swatches, just choose type which you need when you create or edit attribute. After this, you can find additional field where you can choose color tag, text tag or upload image. By default, all product pages show attributes in special additional specification section, but what if you want to show some special attributes in top of page? For this, Rehub theme has special custom product areas. You can find detailed information about these areas in our documentation with many different examples and explanations. In few words, each product has local and global custom areas under button, before short description and after content. You can add local area when you create your product. If you want to add some areas globally, you can use Customizer. You can use their static or dynamic blocks, like special attribute shortcodes or HTML. You can find information about our special shortcode which can get a tribute value of product in our documentation. Let us show simple example. First of all, copy shortcode and place it inside global product area in customizer. We need to make some tweaks in shortcode, first of all, we must place correct attribute slug in our field. You can find slugs in attributes page. Then, we must change type of shortcode. By default, shortcode shows custom meta value, but we need to show attribute value instead. You can also change type of shortcode to swatch type if you have added swatches as we explained in previous step. This was example for simple way to show featured attribute section. But let us explain how to make advanced panels with Page Builder, we will use Elementor Page Builder. It's free plugin, you can install it in your admin panel when you go to plugins, add new. After installation, go to templates and create new template. Choose section as type and add name of template. Now, place icon module on page. Now, 
choose inline width option in advanced section. This will allow us to show several elements on one line. Add special meta attribute value module on page and place it under icon module. Choose WooCommerce attribute in options, then choose post ID. We must choose any product which has our attribute. We need to do this step just for testing purpose to see how our attribute value will look on product page. Later, we will remove this post ID option. For better look, add also some margin for icon module. Let us add also some labels. You can type it in options. Also, in our case, we will place label on separate line to make block more compact. Of course, you can control size of each element, colors, font weights and line heights. Play with them until you get best results. You can add also some text after value, but in our case we don't need this, because attribute value has enough information and unit. Also, you can enable true or false value type. This is very useful if you need to show yes or no icons instead of text values. If you satisfied with design of first column, you can duplicate it. For this, click on column icon, make right click and choose to duplicate element. Then, choose another icon and labels. All design settings will be the same. You can also add any other elements from page builder modules, for example, divider. In the end, we recommend you to check how it will look on tablets and mobiles. Maybe you will need to add some special margins only for mobiles. Now, when you are ready to add this block on product pages, delete post ID option in all modules. In this case, module will show values of current product where you placed shortcode. Okay, it's time to copy template shortcode. Go to all templates, find your template and copy shortcode. Then, go to any of product and use customizer. Go to theme option, custom areas and place shortcode of template in area where you want to render attribute block. Sometimes, you want to have different blocks for different categories. It's easy. Go to our documentation and find conditional shortcode for categories. Let's see how it works. First of all, copy shortcode.
Then, you must find category ID. Go to all categories and click on edit link for category which you want to use. You can find ID in URL of page. Now, use this ID in shortcode parameter. If you want to add multiple categories, just place them all and divide with commas. Don't forget that you can build specifications not only for attributes, but also for custom meta, user meta, product swatches and for local attributes. If you want to use local attributes, just copy name of attribute which you created when you made custom attribute field in product. You can add attribute panel also for product loop. The same as for inner pages, product loop panel can be added as local panel or globally to all product loops. To add local panel in Elementor Page Builder, you can enable custom attribute panel in all Rehub WooCommerce modules. All settings are pretty similar to our previous explanations. The only limitation for local panels is that you can use only global attributes and attribute swatches. If you need advanced product loop panel, you can use the same method which we described for inner pages. You must create template in Elementor and place their meta attribute value module. Then, use shortcode for this template in global custom area inside customizer or inside theme option. Of course, instead of Elementor templates, you can use direct meta value shortcode. This can make site more faster, but direct shortcode doesn't have so much design options like Elementor module.